Hi guys, and today we're going to be discussing the anime trope known as Sundere. This is going to be a different style of video from the reviews that will be a lot more factual rather than my opinion, mostly. These types of videos that I'll be making are for newcomers to anime who want to learn more about the ways of the otaku and the culture that comes with it. They're for more seasoned anime watchers who may want to brush up on their knowledge or are looking for something in particular they haven't viewed yet. And of course they are for the complete masters of anime so you can verbally abuse me and tell me how wrong I am. So, without further ado, what is a sundere? Well, Wikipedia describes a sundere as... Sundere is a Japanese term for a character development process that describes a person who is initially cold and even hostile towards another person before gradually showing a warmer side over time. The word is derived from the terms sunsun, meaning to turn away in disgust, and dere dere, meaning to become lovey-dovey. But for those of you who want a bit more of a casual explanation, a sundere is basically a character, normally female, who is reluctant to show their kindness despite having those feelings or that emotion visibly inside of them. Sundere often react this way towards the ones they love. An example off the top of my head is Asuna's original reaction to Kirito in Sword Art Online once she realises she's beginning to love him. Like Asuna in SAO, Sundere will show a tough exterior attitude to hide their feelings and can become violent towards the ones their secret feelings are aimed at. In most cases, the Sundere will eventually make progression throughout their character arc until they eventually learn to show their feelings like a normal functioning member of society, and we can once again look at Asuna and Kirito from SAO to see this. On second thought, ignore the functioning member of society bit. Like I said before, Asuna is an example of a sundere which most people will be able to reference. However, some other notable sundere are Tusuka Rin from Fate Stay Night, who is probably one of the most well known sundere in recent anime today, Asuka Langley from Neon Genesis Evangelion. Asuka, from what I've seen while researching this topic online, is often noted as the first sundere or the template that all sundere were generated after. I don't actually know how accurate that is, but have you ever tried arguing with an anime fandom? No? You must be new here. Makase Kuritsu from Steins Gate is another great example of a sundere, as she was actually written to be a sundere by the fans of the sundere trope and stylized to call out her own actions of being a sundere. Meta. And finally, just to prove that all sundere aren't women, although most are, we have Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. Yep, you heard me right. Vegeta is in fact a sundere. This is something I really had to look into because my friend actually pointed this out to me and I just refused to believe him. If you look at Vegeta's actions in DBZ, they are classic Sundare signs. He's cold towards people he secretly loves such as his wife and son, he's arrogant and always sulking and he's just unwilling to react to any kindness. So now that we know what a Sundare is and we know some of the more notable Sundare characters in anime, where exactly did this come from? Well, if we look to Wikipedia again, originally found in Japanese bishoujo games, the word is now part of the otaku moe phenomenon, reaching into other media such as maid cafes, anime, manga, novels, and even mass media. The term was made popular in the visual novel Kimiga Nozumo Ayan. But once again, let's not go for just a straight copy and paste on Wikipedia into my script, shall we? While Wikipedia doesn't give much information on the topic or expand on what it does provide, it is correct with the origins. The term did originate in Bishojo games, or as you'll most likely know them, Baiting Sims. The game that made the trope popular was in fact Kimigo Nozomo Iron, but it was the fans discussing it on the Daito forum for Dating Sims all the way back in 2002 that got the ball rolling. Fans of the game were discussing one of the characters, Ayu Dakuji, and stated how difficult it was for them to get past the Sun Sun side of her before they could get to that sweet Dere Dere action, if you know what I mean. Eventually, other members of the forum who liked the phrase decided they were going to shorten it to the trope we have today, Sundere. And that, guys, is what a Sundere is and where the term comes from. Next time you're hanging out with your friends and watching anime and they're all shouting about Sundares, you'll be able to join the conversation too. Yay for social circles. But I mean, if they mention Yandere, well, unfortunately, you're screwed until the next exciting episode of Dragon... I mean, Animats. Thanks for watching, guys.